things, and it was Pepe who got the goal. Yeah, I'm delighted for him, you know, playing over on the left. Seems to have um, really got a lot of confidence from there. I don't know if it's because it's on his natural side, but he, he is good at this. He can take people on. I think it's very easy the way he's gone past these two players from Wolves, but, you know, you can't take anything away from a finish on his weaker foot. Um, really good goal. Really, I'm pleased for him. He's, he's been getting a lot of stick. Um, you know, not coming up to, to scratch in respect of what Arsenal need for the price tag. But I think that since he's been playing the last couple of games, Southampton, I thought he was very good out there as well. And, you know, this is the kind of stuff we need him to do. And to be honest, we deserve to be up. We deserve to be winning. Alan, the defenders have been highlighted there. From the Wolves' perspective, that must be bitterly disappointing. Well, that's, that sort of summed Wolves up that moment there in, in the game. And there was six or seven of those that we could have shown. Um, and I think Arsenal will be kicking themselves. This game should be over. It should be five or six nil, mm. and they should be coasting and cruising, whereas they're up against it now with ten men, and Wolves have, have somehow, somehow got themselves back into this game because they have been dreadful. 48 minutes, when there was two minutes minimum injury time to be played in that first half. Talk me through your reading of this, Alan. Well, I think it's very sloppy and poor from David Luiz. He gets drawn in to make the challenge near the halfway line. It's, it, it doesn't really need to. Then he's out of position in behind. And it's a correct decision. It's a penalty and it's a red card because it's not a genuine attempt to, uh, to make a tackle. And the forwards clear through on goal, denying a, a goal-scoring opportunity. And, yeah, should, penalty and red card. Ian, it's these moments David Luiz, <clears throat> I suppose, doesn't exactly cover himself in glory. I think, that's a, I think it's, a, it's a bit harsh, you know. Like, you know, you look at the way he's challenged, he's gone across him at the back, that can happen. You know, the feet can get clipped, but, you know, the, the problem, like you say, is the, the, the mistake would have been maybe by the halfway line, the challenge he made there. Was he too but rash there? Maybe he went in into a situation where, you know, the, the forward isn't going to do anything other than maybe control it and lay it back. So you think, do you need to make that challenge? But here, you know, you know people could say he might have done it on purpose, running mm. at the back of him, and, and then they clipped the legs and he might have got away with it, but... I think it's pretty harsh to dig him out, personally, but, like, he's, he's, the mistake was on the halfway line, the challenge on the halfway line. That's where he kind of got himself in, uh, in a bit of a muddle. So, up step, Ruben Neves made no mistake. No, super pen. No, you can see the goalkeeper trying to play mind games with him going to his yeah. left and then coming back, but even if he had gone to his left-hand side, the right side, then uh, he wouldn't have stopped it anyway. Yeah. It was a quality penalty high into the roof of the net and keeper's not stopping it.